Hello, I'm here to explain my topic, how we need to control pet animal population here in the United States. Okay, have you ever considered how many homeless animals there are in America today? How that's a major problem in our society? The Humane Society of Plastic Challenge mission is to rescue and provide veterinary care like spayed, neuter, and find loving homes for rescued, abused animals, cats, and horses. They're located here in Pulaski County. My name is Jamie Hubbard, and I am here to convince you why you should spay or neuter your pet. When I went volunteer at the Humane Society of Pulaski County, I loved it. I got to visit with the animals go walk the dogs, visit with the cats, learn more about animals and how to actually take care of them. I love the staff, they're very helpful. Today I'm going to convince you that it's very important to spay or neuter your pet. Here are my reasons why I think you should spay or neuter. First, we can discuss animal control and the animal population in the United States. Second, we will discuss the spay and neuter of the animals. Third, I would discuss thinking getting your spayed and neutered is the best solution to our problem right now. Good afternoon, my name is Jamie. I'm here to spray you to spay or neuter your animal. Now, I will tell you my reasons why I think you should. When you're walking down the street and you ever notice just an animal wandering around, you think to yourself, how did that animal get there and how did it become homeless? Okay, <clears throat> how we need to control the animal population in the United States. Please visit thehumanesociety.org for more, for more information. Okay, there is a severe animal overpopulation in the United States. There are, there are 30,000 animals that are homeless in the United States each year. Due to overpopulation in the shelters, the United States is faced with a burden of how could you control overpopulations of cats and dogs you cannot find homes for. Okay, Arkansas has many homeless animals. You will need to go to spadearkansas.com to look at my re the results I got my information from. Um, there's over eight, it goes from eight different counties here in Arkansas and it tells either how they euthanized, died in a shelter, or dead on intake. To the overpopulation in society, when you're allowing a cat and dog to produce to have offsprings and are the owner just simply did not want them anymore. A healthy cat can have between three to five kittens per litter, depending on their breed or dog, how many puppies they can have. So, just imagine how many litters of kittens or puppies that is each year. Now that I, now that we realize the overpopulation problem, I'll tell you my reason why we should spay the neutered. Okay, I've always loved animals. I grew up around them. I know whenever I go to volunteer, I'm always happy, happy knowing that I made a difference in either the helping to staff or just visiting with the animal. Okay, the local animal shelter can spray to new your animals. If you don't have the money, you can go to a low cost animal clinic. There's several here listed in Little Rock. You will need, well, I've got three clinics here. Contact these three organizations, and they have a, a low cost clinic. Okay? I would think the best birth control for animals is a spayed or neutered at the Humane Society of Pulaski County adoption fee $90. That includes shots, worming, and sterilization, any other medical care that may need to keep the animal for a healthy adoption. Okay, if you can adopt a pet from local animal shelter, I think you'll be saving many lives. When you adopt a pet from local animal shelter, you make your room for animals who need love, support, and care. 
that may just come off the street or the owner could drop them off. By adopting a pet, you'd be saving a life from euthanization. Now I will explain the benefits of getting a cat spayed or neutered. I was thinking getting cat spayed neutered is the best solution. I think mean, getting your cat spayed and neutered can help with the population. By getting them spayed or neutered can decrease the number of euthanization in the United States. This can help decrease the number of homeless animals in the United States. Please visit carbio.com for more information and more great health benefits. Okay, and if you spayed or neuter your animal, there is great health benefits to go along with that. It can make them have a longer and healthier life and reduce the chances of breast cancer and urinary infection for female dogs and cats. It reduces the chance of prostate and testicular cancer with male dogs and cats. If you adopt an animal and giving them a loving home, a pet can bring joy and happiness to your home. You're also creating room for more animals for homeless that may need help. I think that if you're adopting from a local animal shelter, it's better than buying from a local pet store. When you buy from an animal shelter, then you're putting money back into the community. I feel it's very important to our society today. Okay, now that I've explained to you why you should have your pet spayed or neutered, I will give you my conclusion. Conclusion, I believe that it's important to spay or neuter your animal because of homeless and population of the animals in the United States. I believe that spay or neuter your animal can have great help in the pets. If you decide to adopt an animal, be saving your life. Thesis. Today I'm going to convince you it's very important to spay or neuter your animal. Main point today, I would have convinced you to spay or neuter your pet. I talked about why you should spay or neuter to help control the animal population. I spoke about finding low cost clinics here in Little Rock and I talked about the medical benefits you could have. Okay, just remember to keep animal population in control. We need to spay and neuter animal. Thank you so much for letting me convince you why you should volunteer for the animal shelter, help the animals in your community. And in my resources, I use www.cambrio.com, www.paws.org, www.warmheart.org. And I have a book by Claudia Isler, it's 2000, I'm volunteering to help animals. The Humane Society has the magazine and SprayArkansas.org. Thank you.